everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial slash slight review. This video is in collaboration with Beauty Big Bang and they have worked with me on two videos before. So on my channel they've sent me things to review in two separate videos and now they've sent me some more things so I'm very happy to be working them again this year. I'll briefly show you the things that they've sent me and then I will get on with my makeup. I am going to be using other products in this video as well and I'm just going to do my full kind of face of makeup but I'm going to be talking more specifically about these products rather than the other products I'm going to be using, so the ones that they've sent me. I will link their website down below in the description. I do have a discount code with them and it's GCX10 and that will get you 10% off everything on their website, so go click the link in the description, have a little look. I will link down all three products that I'll be using in this video. I'll link them down if you want these items specifically. And apart from that, shall we get into the video? So I'll briefly show you the three products that they sent me and then we'll get into kind of the makeup. The first one is this kind of silicone little sponge thingy makeup applicator so you're going to see that right at the beginning but basically this is just for makeup application and i really wanted to i obviously picked these things that they sent me by the way um i wanted to try this out because i hadn't used one before and i've seen like loads of reviews on youtube and stuff like that and i was just interested to try it, it was very cheap so if you want to try a cheap one i swear it's like two dollars or whatever um obviously i don't know what that is in pounds i then picked up this eyeshadow palette which looked so so cute it is pretty small in terms of the eyeshadow shades but it's so travel friendly in terms of size and you get so many colors like just look how cute this is look at that that is amazing like this is just like the perfect colorful eyeshadow palette obviously when you use colors on your eyes you're not going to be using these very often the kind of shades that you use on an everyday basis are going to be like browns neutrals and you know obviously because you won't be using colour that often, you don't really need them to be kind of like a big pan size. So yeah, this is so cute and I'm really excited to try this out and to use different shades. I have tried this a couple of times already, uh, mixing with a few shades, but I don't really know what I'm going to go for today. I really don't know if I'm going to go neutral or colourful. Who knows, we'll see, but this is so cute and a really decent price. So they've obviously got this colourful one and they do also have a more neutral toned one as well if that's what you're interested in, but as I said, I'll link them down below. And then finally they sent me this lipstick and this is a matte lip crayon. They've sent me one before and the one that they sent me was in the shade Rose Taupe. This one is in the shade number eight, Fuzzy Wuzzy. So if I get it out, the reason why I picked one of these, because obviously they've sent me one before and I really, really liked it, which is why I wanted to try a different one in a different shade. The one that they sent me before was more kind of like a brownie toned and I like smudged it onto my lips and it just looks so nice. The formula of them is obviously matte, but in a kind of very wearable way. It's not like a matte liquid lipstick where you can really feel it on your lips. This one is a very kind of subtle, like nudie shade. And I just really like this. And what I like about them is that you can put them on really pigmented or you can literally blend them out. So it's just a subtle amount. So you'll be seeing that on my lips later on. So that is all the products. Now let's get into the makeup application. I'm gonna start off priming with my e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. The foundation that I'm using is this one from Primark and it is the My Perfect Colour Glow Foundation. It says it's medium to buildable um, coverage and it's got SPF 30 in it. I did do a video on this testing out this foundation thoroughly so I'll link that video down below if you want to go and see that. But I'm just going to pop a little bit of this onto the back of my hand. I'm now going to use the silicone sponge that they sent me and I'm going to use kind of like the more kind of flatter side um, to buff this in. I have used this before and I've noticed that it does give a really kind of quick, sorry I'm covering my face whilst I'm doing that, what an idiot, um, sorry just put my hair behind me, um, it gives quite a quick base so like when you buff it in it is quite quick to blend it in which obviously I really really like. It gives a finish of more of kind of like a, a less streaky finish because obviously you're not using a brush and there's no brush streaks because obviously you are buffing it in, which I really, really like. The only issue that I do find with this, and obviously I do have to state it when I find issues, 
is that it does make it quite tricky to get in the crevices of your nose and everything like that but everywhere else it blends absolutely fine and obviously over the eyes as well so I am going to go in with a brush um, to do the rest of my nose and my eyes but everywhere else is absolutely fine and I can kind of see how somebody can use this on a daily basis but I feel like it gives more full coverage than a beauty blender because obviously a beauty blender is a sponge and therefore it soaks up product whereas this does not do that so I'm just going to use a brush just to kind of finish up on the kind of crevices in the nose area and that kind of thing I think if I had more patience I'd be able to do it all but overall for the rest of my face I do really like how it feels and I can understand why somebody might switch this out for a beauty blender. I'm now going to be concealing using my Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I do happen to use this as a concealer. I mentioned in my January favourites that I use this as a concealer rather than as a foundation because I prefer it like that. And I'm just going to kind of lightly dot this in the areas where I would really like to conceal. And it is slightly lighter than my foundation, which means that it's going to highlight those areas of my face. So it gives extra coverage and a little bit of highlighting. And I am going to use my brush. I'm going to use this kind of thicker brush here and just buff that in. Now we're looking all ghostly and scary, I'm going to powder my face. I'm going to powder my face using the Makeup Gallery, uh, using the Makeup Gallery Smoothly Does It Press Powder. That's been in many favourites of mine. It's only a pound from Poundland and it is so good. So I'm just going to take some of that and just pat it on my face to mattify everything. Set it in place. And Bob's your uncle. Okay, I'm now going to go in with some bronzer. I'm going to be using this bronzer from the collection. It's the collection Bronze Glow Matte. This was also in my January favourites. So I'm going to take my bronzer brush and just start applying that. My foot's numb already and I've still got three more videos to film after this video. Okay, that is it for bronzer. I'm now going to use some blusher. And the blusher that I'm going to be using today is one from Rimmel as well. Oh, one from Rimmel. And this is the Rimmel Max Maxi Blush. And it is in the shade number four, Sweet Cheeks. It's a nice peachy shade. Again, this was in my January favourites. I'm looking for my brushes. Oh, there they are. And I'm just going to start to apply that on my cheeks. I absolutely love peachy blushes. I stated that in my... January favourites, how much better it looks than a really pinky blush. And I could not agree with myself more. Oh yeah, it might look quite pigmented at the minute, but it's because I like to go in with a brush after and blend it out after. So don't you worry, your little cotton socks. And also it looks a lot darker on camera than it does in real life, trust me. So anyway, that is that done. I'm now going to use... A highlighter that I haven't used on my channel before. I literally bought this recently. I am going to be doing a beauty haul where I will be including um, this in it because this is something that I bought recently. So I'm doing a beauty haul on that. So I'm literally just going to take a bit of this. By the way, it is the Obsession Mega Destiny Highlighter. And I think it must be in the shade Mega Destiny, but they've got loads of other ones. I just simply bought this from Boots, but I'll discuss it in the beauty haul video that might be either up or going up. I think it will be up after this video, to be honest. And I'm just going to apply that. And I actually really like this. I think it might be the, my favourite highlighter I've ever used. I'm not going to lie. It is quite good. Quite pigmented, though. I'm not going to lie. Take some down my nose, tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, and there we are, we're done. So that is my base finished. I'm just going to take my powder brush and I'm actually just going to kind of slightly buff this out just to kind of blend everything together ever so slightly. 
Okay, there we go, that's the base finished. Now I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow, and as I said at the beginning, I'm gonna be using this Beauty Big Bang eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take this brush, which is a really good eyeshadow brush, which I got for Christmas, and the brand is called B, and this is their eye blending um, brush. It's just so nice and fluffy, absolutely perfect. So the shade that I'm gonna first of all go into is this white shade here. And I'm literally just going to pack that on my lid. I'm going to bring you in a bit closer. Some of these shades you might not be able to see quite so well, but it's because I'm just kind of layering up and like, you know, starting off with a base and then working my way up. So I'm going to start off with that plain white and just, you know, make sure that everything is set and completely kind of clear and clean. I don't know what look I'm going for today, so I'm just kind of winging it. And then I'm going to take a transition shade. I'm actually going to take a mixture of shades in this palette. I'm going to take this shade here. I'm going to mix it with this shade here and here. And I'm going to take that in my crease and bring it up slightly. So it's, you know, acting as a transition quite kind of subtly. I think the key to eyeshadow is to make sure that you keep blending and blending and blending. So everything just looks kind of seamless. So that is that side done. And I'm going to replicate that on the other side. Okay, now for the main event. I really don't know what I'm going to go for. I think I might experiment with some of the red and the pinks. This really is, you know, could go wrong. This could go very, very wrong. Okay, so I'm going to mix some shades together. But I'm actually going to go in with these yellows here. And I'm going to actually apply that kind of quite, what the heck, there's no mirror to this. Um, the, I'm going to apply it quite high up. So I'm just going to take that and just kind of buff out almost straight over the transition. But just to give more of a toned down kind of yellowy effect. I know it's very subtle, but that's the, oh, but that's the effect that I wanted to go for. Okay, and then now I'm going to go in with this red down here. I'm going to take some of that. And I'm going to pop this all over my lid. I'm predicting there's going to be a fair amount of fallout. They are quite pigmented, which I like. And fallout wise, there's not so much, which I really like. So I'm just going to pop this all over my eyelid. And then try and get it as kind of packed on and as pigmented as possible. I do quite like a red um, eyeshadow look, I'm not going to lie. So I'm now going to take that kind of into the crease. I'm not actually going to take it into the crease. I'm just going to kind of blend it out. Just remember, if anything goes wrong, you can always use concealer to fix it. So there we go. So that's one eye done. And I'm now going to do the other side. And then I'll be back with you. Okay, so that is the red finished on my eyes. I quite like it how it is. I would actually leave my eyes like that. But I am going to mix a few of these pinks together and just kind of buff right on the outer edge. Give more of a kind of, I don't know. Just a little something something. So I'm going to take a little bit of this pinky shade here and mix it in with a bit of the purple. And I'm then going to kind of buff that into the crease. And that will give a little bit of definition. And then the same on the other side. I'm then going to take these two pinky shades here. And I'm just going to pop that just slightly above the red like this and that will help to blend it out and just I don't know blend it out a little bit further okay I'm now going to deepen this look up we don't want to add too many shades because obviously you know you've got this eyeshadow palette but you don't have to use every single shade all in one go but I am going to deepen this up slightly and I'm going to mix together this brown here and this slightly grey colour and I'm going to add that to my crease And then right in the outer corner, I'm actually going to add a tiny bit of this black, which is in the corner here. So I'm going to add a bit of that black to the outer corner, just like this. And that black actually blends quite well. Sometimes it's difficult for a black to blend in with the rest of the eyeshadow, but this actually blends in extremely well. So I'm quite impressed with that. And that will just deepen up that outer corner ever so slightly. 
Okay, so that is gonna be it for the eyeshadow palette. I took more of kind of a ready approach. I am gonna brush through my eyebrows and then I'm gonna add some mascara. I'm just simply gonna brush through my brows using this Beauty Big Bang um, brow pencil. This is not what they sent me for this video. They sent me it for a previous video, but I'm just gonna be using the spoolie just to brush through my eyebrows. I have dyed them, if you're wondering. I, um, yeah, I did dye them at home. I don't fill my eyebrows in anymore because I just find it so much quicker and easier to dye them at night and then in the morning I don't have to think about them. And then I'm gonna take this mascara from Primark. It's the False Lash Effect Mascara. I did include this in my January favourites, if you saw that. And I'm just gonna pop that on my top lashes. I tend to, with my makeup, focus everything on my top lash line and everything i don't really put um too much eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line or i don't put any mascara there just i don't know i don't really like it like that i like to just focus everything on the top and i think it can look a bit too much if you do it on the bottom as well and now we're going to finish off the look by using the beauty big bang lipstick this is the matte lip crayon in the shade fuzzy wuzzy number eight Actually, before I do that, I am actually going to line my lips and I'm going to use a new product that I recently bought. Again, this is in my beauty haul and this is the Revolution Matte Liner and it's basically like a pen type thing. I, You know, you'll see what I mean when I get it out, but it looks like this and I'm actually going to use this shade here to line my lips today. Okay, and then I am just going to fill in the rest with the lipstick that they gave me. And that is my lips done. I'm then gonna finish off with some setting spray and then we'll be done. So this is the finished makeup look that I've created today using the products that Beauty Big Bang have sent me and obviously other products as well. But the main focus of this video is to work with them on the products that they have sent me. They have so many products on their website. They have like obviously eyeshadow palettes, mascaras, just everything you can think of, concealers. I will link down their website and remember to use my discount code GCX10 for 10% off. If you would like to see or would like to purchase the products that I have specifically used in this video, then I'll link down the lipstick. I will link down the eyeshadow palette, which is here. And you can have a look at the other ones that they do as well because it's not just the colourful ones. And I will also link down below the silicone makeup applicator but go and have a look see if anything else takes your fancy and let me know if you buy anything from their website but apart from that that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please remember to subscribe for more content on this channel and uh thank you for watching so thank you for beauty big bang for sending me these products and can't wait to see you in my next video goodbye